Hello and welcome back to my channel folks. Jay checking in here from the honey yard of course where it's all about bees. So without further ado let's jump right into today's video. Okay so before we get into today's video one here is my friend. Here's one of my good friends. Um, you're going to be seeing her a lot in these videos. Actually if you look back um, on one of my inspections. She is actually in one of my inspections and uh, she's always out here with me in the honey yard. Um, by the way, her name is Turtle, Turd for short. So there you go, everybody. You have, uh, you have met my partner in the honey yard. So anyways, more importantly, I would like to take this opportunity to give a very important shout out to HCW Figures. Everybody, go check out his video. If you are a fan of WrestleMania, um, Raw was War, WWE, anything of the wrestling sorts, and especially action figures, you are in good hands, especially if you want one custom made and you would like to order something like that, maybe like a mix between Undertaker and Kane, or John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin, just for instance, then you are in good hands. So go check him out at HCW Figures. So without further ado, now let's jump into today's video. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be doing what my friends? Thinking B, of course. So actually our topic today is going to be based off of a question from hcw figures and what is our topic how do honeybees make honey actually that is in four um very detailed steps so i figure i would run you guys right through them okay so what is step one of course they forge nectar okay so on to part two, of course, what do they do? They return to the hive. And once they return to the hive, the forgers themselves, as well as whatever house bees that they bring this nectar to, will actually um, exchange it from mouth to mouth. And they will actually digest the nectar in order to put enzymes into it, in order to actually convert that nectar over to two things, glucose and fructose. And so, of course, at this point, the bees then will keep on swapping and exchanging mouth to mouth of this nectar and um, fructose and glucose substance. And they will actually knock down the moisture level from about 70% all the way down to 20%. And once this process is done, they will actually take it towards the top of the hive and they will begin to deposit it into nectar cells. Oh yes, and one key detail, how they deposit that honey into a nectar cell, in other words, a horror, uh, a hexagontal, excuse me, a hexagontal uh, honeycomb cell, how they deposit that in there is they actually regurgitate the nectar back up. So step three, it's actually pretty simple. Um, at this point, as you guys are aware of um, bee fanning and their responsibility, as I've mentioned before in Thinking Bee Part 1. So, of course, you guys are up to date on what they do now. They're actually fanning and ripening the honey. And all they're simply doing is just drying out the honey um, so that the honey does not ferment. Um, because they need to keep the moisture level really low. So they simply just dry it out and help ripen it. And of course, our last step is just simply sealing the comb. They will just seal it off with the white cappings in order to keep it airtight and locked in place. And then there we go. We have ripened honey. There you have it, folks. There is our Thinking Bee Part 2, and that is how our honeybees make their honey. So, thank you very much to HCW Figures for the wonderful question. I enjoyed giving you guys some good educational content today. And do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And do not be afraid to leave a question. Yeah, but that's going to do it, you guys. And thank you so much for all of your support. And until next time, I'll see you later.